Hello. In this video, I show you how to uninstall Hyper-V in Windows. You may need to uninstall Hyper-V for various reasons, including when you want to use a Type 2 hypervisor like VirtualBox or VMware Workstation. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to uninstall Hyper-V using the graphical user interface and via the command line interface for both Windows 10 and Windows Server. Let's start with method 1, that is removing Hyper-V in Windows 10 by using the graphical user interface. Click Start, go to Windows System and open the control panel. Click Programs and then turn Windows features on or off. Deselect Hyper-V and click OK. Wait until Hyper-V is removed and restart Windows for the changes to take effect. And this is it. Now let's go over method 2 for uninstalling Hyper-V in Windows 10 using the command line interface, or CMD. Click Start and open the command prompt as administrator. Run System Info to check whether Hyper-V is installed. Check the Hyper-V requirements line. If a hypervisor is detected, then Hyper-V is installed. Click Start and open Windows PowerShell as administrator. Type the following command to remove Hyper-V. Disable dash Windows optional feature space dash online space dash feature name Microsoft dash Hyper-V dash all. Press Enter to run the command. Type Y and press Enter to restart the computer and apply the changes. The next method to uninstall Hyper-V in Windows 10 is using the command line DISM utility. Open the elevated PowerShell that is with administrative privileges. Type the command. DISM slash online slash disable dash feature colon Microsoft dash Hyper-V. And then press Enter to run the command. Wait until the task is completed. Press Y and hit Enter to restart your computer right away. You may need to disable Secure Boot in the UEFI slash BIOS settings of your computer to complete Hyper-V uninstallation. You can change Hyper-V startup options when Windows boots without uninstalling Hyper-V completely. In this case, Hyper-V is installed but inactivated. Hyper-V is not booted before Windows boots if you disable Hyper-V by using the BCD Edit tool, which is the command line tool to manage boot configuration data or BCD. Open the command line as administrator. For more convenience, you can create two boot entries for your Windows machine. One boot entry is used to boot the operating system with Hyper-V, and the other one is used to boot the OS without Hyper-V. Run the following command to copy the default boot configuration to the new entry. Hyper-V disable is the name of the new boot entry in my case. bcd edit slash copy default slash dd Hyper-V disable. The following output message is displayed. The entry was successfully copied too with a value in braces. Run the command to edit the Hyper-V boot options for the new boot entry you have created. Copy the value in braces from the output message and paste it to this command. bcd edit slash set the value in braces hypervisor launch type off. You should see a message saying, the operation completed successfully. Edit the name of the default boot entry with Hyper-V to Windows 10 Hyper-V for more convenience, that is. bcd edit slash set, default, Description Windows 10 Hyper-V. Then restart your computer. Now you have two boot menu entries. Select Hyper-V Disable to boot Windows without Hyper-V or select Windows 10 Hyper-V to boot Windows with Hyper-V. Before I proceed, let me quickly tell you about Nikivo Backup and Replication and how it can help you protect your Microsoft Hyper-V workloads. Nikivo Backup and Replication is a comprehensive data protection solution that you can use to protect all your workloads from a single pane of glass, whether it's Hyper-V, Proxmox, VMware, Nutanix, physical servers or Microsoft 365. Backups are fast, thanks to the integration of native APIs to create incremental backups. Backups can be protected against cyber threats like ransomware with immutability and encryption. Once a backup is created, you have multiple instant recovery options from instant VM recovery to instant recovery of Microsoft application objects. You can learn more about the solution by going to www.nikivo.com. The process of removing Hyper-V in Windows Server 2019 is slightly different compared to Windows 10. So in this part, I show you how to uninstall Hyper-V in Windows Server 2019. The workflow is identical in Windows Server 2022 and 2016. If your Windows server is installed with the graphic experience and has a graphical user interface, GUI, then the easiest way to uninstall Hyper-V is using Server Manager and the Remove Roles and Features wizard. Open Server Manager, click Manage and click Remove Roles and Features. The Remove Roles and Features wizard opens. 
there is nothing to configure at the before you begin step. Click next to continue. Select a server from the server pool and select your server in the list. I select the local server. Hit next at each step to continue. To uninstall Hyper-V, deselect the Hyper-V checkbox in the list of roles. A pop-up window opens. Check the features that you are about to remove. Select Remove Management Tools, if applicable, to remove Hyper-V Manager Windows tools. Click Remove Features. There is no need to remove custom features when you uninstall Hyper-V. Leave Features Configuration as is. Check all items that are going to be removed. Select the checkbox if you want your server to restart automatically when the Hyper-V role is removed. Otherwise, you need to restart Windows manually for changes to take effect and finish Hyper-V uninstallation. Click Remove to finish and uninstall Hyper-V. Wait until the Hyper-V components are uninstalled. The restart is pending on the server. I should restart the server to finish removing Hyper-V features. In Windows Server 2019, Hyper-V can also be uninstalled in PowerShell. The PowerShell command to uninstall Hyper-V in Windows Server 2016, 2019 and 2022 is also not the same as in Windows 10. Open PowerShell as administrator. Run the following command to uninstall Hyper-V on Windows Server 2019. Remove-Windows feature-name Hyper-V. Restart the server to finish the removal process. Don't forget to protect your data wherever it resides, whether in virtual environments, in the cloud or on physical servers. Nikivo Backup and Replication is a universal backup solution that delivers flexible deployment on different platforms, fast and efficient backups and instant recoveries for the shortest recovery objectives. You can easily try the solution in your own environment by downloading the free trial and get access to all the advanced backup, disaster recovery and ransomware protection features for 15 days.